Hi friends, time for another story. And you know what? Sometimes my voice is kind of scratchy like this, but I'm not sick. It's just from when I wake up in the morning and I haven't been talking very much because I don't talk as much at home as I do at school. There's no one here to talk to right now. <clears throat> so sometimes I have to cough and sometimes I get kind of hot so today, I'm going to read without my hat. My hair is kind of growing in. Do you see that? It will start to grow again. So today's book, another one of my favorite Valentines. And you know what? I think that you can read Valentine books anytime you want because they're about friendship. And we talk about being friends every day at school. So it's okay to read Valentine books, even if it's after Valentine's book day or before. So this one is another one of my favorite characters, Franklin's Valentine. Franklin has so many good books. Last time we read, well, I don't know, but I did read one about Froggy's first kiss too. Franklin could count to 10 and back again. He knew the days of the week, the months of the year, and the holidays in every season. Today was Valentine's Day and Franklin was counting the Valentine's Day he'd made for his friends. He wanted to be sure that he hadn't forgotten anyone. And you know why? It's because he was thinking about how he wanted to be treated and he wanted to make sure that all of his friends got a Valentine card because he would want a Valentine card from everyone. <coughs> Hurry up, Franklin, said his mother. You're going to miss the school bus. Franklin rushed to find his hat and mittens and boots. He tossed his Valentines into his bag. I'm going, called Franklin, and he hurried out the door. Look what's happening. Thumbs up if you think Franklin is going to be happy or sad. I think he's going to be sad that he lost some. At school, Mr. Al gave the class a Valentine spelling bee and Valentine math problems. But everyone was too excited for the Valentine's Day party to even think about work. Franklin whispered to Bear. I can't believe we have to wait until after lunch to give out our cards. I can't believe we have to wait until after lunch for the goodies, Bear whispered back. They wanted to do it first thing in the morning, but guess what? If you did that first thing in the morning, you might not get any work done. At last, it was time for the party. You may get your Valentines now, said Mr. Al. Franklin grabbed his bag and reached inside. He pulled his hat out his hat. He pulled out his mittens. He pulled out a ball and a scrunched up piece of homework. And then he held his bag upside down and he shook it. What's wrong, asked Bear. My Valentines, they're gone, said Franklin. You said he would be sad. You made the right prediction. After Franklin looked everywhere, Mr. Owl let him call his mom at home. Franklin waited and waited while his mother searched. I'm so sorry, Franklin, she finally said. I found your Valentines outside in a puddle of slush. The cards are ruined. Franklin blinked away the tears. He gave the phone to Mr. Owl and he ran out of the room. Friends, why do you think he was so upset? If you're thinking back at the beginning of the story, he wanted to treat his friends all kind and caring, and he wanted to make sure they all had a card. Mr. Al found Franklin in the coat room. There you are, Franklin, he said. Your friends are waiting. We can't start this party without you. 
I don't belong at the party, said Franklin. I don't have any Valentines to give my friends. I know, said Mr. Al. Your mother told me what happened, and I told your friends. Franklin moaned. I guess no one's even going to give me a Valentine now. Hmm, said Mr. Al. If Bear lost his Valentines, would you decide not to give him a card? I would never do that, said Franklin. Bear is my friend. Maybe Bear feels the same way about you, said Mr. Al. Franklin thought about it. Maybe, he said. He cheered up a little. Franklin and Mr. Al went back to the classroom. Franklin watched as his friends handed out their cards. As the pile of Valentines in front of him grew bigger and big bigger, Franklin felt sadder and sadder. There were so many, and he had none to give his friends. Okay, friends, we're going to stop for a second, and we're going to turn and talk, and I'm going to tell you what you're going to share. If that happened to you, and you lost your Valentines, I want you to think about what you might do, and you're going to turn to your partner with a one whisper voice. You're going to share with them what you would do, and then your eyes are going to turn around and look at me. Ready? Turn and talk. <coughs> okay, friends, even if you haven't had a chance to share, turn. Voice is at zero, and let's see what he does. He sighed as he opened Bear's card. What's wrong, Franklin? asked Bear. Don't you like my card? I do, I do like it, but I feel bad because I don't have one to give to you, said Franklin. Oh, that's all right, said Bear. I don't know, need a Valentine to know that you're my friend. Franklin smiled, and there's the Valentine he gave him. Everyone gathered around as Franklin opened the other cards. Mine's a turtle cutout, said Snail. Mine's a turtle poem, said Goose. And I made up a turtle riddle, said Fox. These are all so great, said Franklin. I just wish I had Valentine's for all of you. I just wish we could start eating all these goodies, said Bear. Everyone laughed. See all those yummy goodies? That night, Franklin told his parents about the party. It sounds, as if you, it sounds as if you had some very good friends, said Franklin's father. I sure do, said Franklin. Next year, I'm going to make them extra special Valentines. Well, you've got a whole year to get ready for that, said his mother. I don't know if I can wait a whole year, said Franklin. Hmm. The next morning, Franklin's mother found him at his table, writing and drawing and cutting and folding. What are you making, she asked. Hmm, I wonder if your prediction was right. It's a surprise, Franklin said. His mother smiled. Well, hurry up, you're going to miss the bus. Uh-oh, we know what happened when last time he missed the bus. Do you see what he's doing, friends? But Franklin, he didn't hurry. He wrapped his artwork very carefully and he placed the package in his bag. He made sure that all the buckles were tight and then he hugged the bag to his chest and went out the door. He wasn't gonna lose them again, was he? As soon as Franklin got to school, he opened his package and gave everyone a card. What are you doing, Franklin, asked Beaver. Valentine's Day was yesterday. 
But do you remember what I told you at the beginning of the book? It could be Valentine's Day every day. Oh, these cards aren't for Valentine's Day, replied Franklin. They're for Friendship Day. And Friendship Day can be any day you want it to be. And Franklin is very right. Friendship Day is every day. Every day you go to school. You always have friends around you. And boys and girls, sometimes it's hard maybe to ask friends to play. So if you see a friend in your classroom or in the lunchroom or outside at recess that looks like they're alone, I know that you know what to do. You go over and you ask them, would you like to play with me? And lots of times they will say yes. They do want to play with you. So remember friends to always treat your friends the way you want to be treated. If you're feeling sad or left out, you would want friends to ask you. Always remember you're smart and always remember to treat other people the way you want to be treated. And most of all, remember that you are loved. See you next time, friends.